Right, so I'm here with Mickey Theo. Now, you're supposed to be having a fight with uh, John Fury. Now, today, it looks a bit like the fight isn't happening unless you go to John's 10-acre field and have a bare-knuckle fight. Um, what are you thinking about that? I think John's swerving me again, um, like he did with the um, businessman that offered £250,000. He's trying to get me to fight him in, that, in a close uh, environment. No one sees it. And there'll, there'll be no witnesses to say who won, who didn't won, you know. Um, so I think he's just trying to swerve me again with the uh, the way he conducted himself, not in a good manner, showing his true colours, um, trying to, to shout his mouth out to get me into a bare knuckle fight, which that wasn't the original statement I put across. It, the statement I put across was I fancy basically. I fancy John Fury. I'm fitter than him, and I'm, and I'm better than him. And it was a challenge brought out to fight him in a in a, in a boxing ring um, with uh, Queensbury Rules. I mean, in in his video, he seemed to be calling you a lot of names. Um, here are a few: Shepton Mallet Pig. Uh, that's eaten too much swill. He called you an ugly bastard, a bum, many other things. Why? Why do you think he became so aggressive with you? Because I mean, the previous week when when you did your interviews, you seemed to be quite polite. So I, I, I'm very surprised by his response. I don't have a clue um, why he's acting the way he is. I just think it's it's a big get out for him. He's frustrated within himself, and uh, he doesn't want to fight. Okay. And he's trying to find an easy way out, and it's not working because I still want to fight you, John Fury. You're a little sissy. You are. You got no balls, and you don't want to fight. I want you still, mate. There's been a kind of a viewpoint going around. I've, I've seen it on the internet, you know, because I like to study what people are saying on the internet. Was he, he never really wanted to have this fight. He got caught off guard with the original challenge. He's rich, he's famous. Um, he, he, he doesn't need the fight. And by asking you to fight bare knuckle, he, he knows it's never going to happen. Well, of course, that's, that, that's, his, that's his way out. Of, uh, he originally said, yes, he'll fight me. And then he, he came across that he would do it for the national health. And all of a sudden, he's just come, gone haywire with his uh, ridiculous um, shout how uh, it's going to smash my head, smash this, smash that. I'm going to look for you. I'm going to do this for you. And I said to him, you know, hey, you know what? He, I just said, you know what? Whatever you want, you know, sticks and stones may break my bones, you know what I mean? And uh, you, you sound like the old station that barks a lot, but you know what? When it comes down to it, you, you run away. Another thing that has kind of confused me was that, you know, he's, he's sort of threatened you publicly, that he's going to shatter your jaw, he's going to inflict serious damage, he's going to break your face in, rip you to pieces. I mean, do you take that for real, or is it just him being, you know, doing a sort of pantomime villain, you know? He's, he's got a problem because he can't face up to fighting me. That is his problem. It's eating him inside. Yes, John Fury, it's eating in you inside. Slowly, slowly, slowly. You're trying to divert me away from the boxing match into the, into the, into the streets. Which I'm not a mug. I don't do that. I've been fighting all my life, mate. I don't need that in my life. This is all about making money for charity, NHS, the pandemic that's out there. This is, this is what is for a great cause. Um, so uh, I suggest, you know, you, you, you calm down and uh, look at reality and do something for a good cause rather than shouting your mouth off, yeah? Because you're shouting it off personally as well. But remember something, mate, I'm not a mug, okay? You shout what you want, okay? I mean, has, has it ever sort of crossed your mind, and I'm sure many people out there uh, are excited by the thought uh, of you actually going into his back garden and having, having a punch-up? I mean, is it, is it something that you would actually consider? Answer to that would be no. This is not what I, what, what I, I, I wanted out of, the, uh, out of it. I wanted to call it. The reason I called John out is because he said he's the strongest fitness in the world. All he's done is call people out, left, right and centre. Lennox Lewis, number one. David A, number two. Dana White, number three. You know, he seems to be and just saying that on his own, because I believe I'm the strongest fittest 54-year-old on the planet. That's calling yet people out anyway. Look, he's just called Mike Tyson out. What do you make of that? He's calling people out constantly. Yeah, he's a blatant liar. Yeah, he's got no balls. So I don't know why he's calling people out because look, I'm the only person who stood up for the challenge. Yeah, and look at look at the way he's reacting. You know, he's not professional. He's meant to be a professional. I haven't had one white collar fight. I'm the underdog. He's the pro. Like he said, my sparring, I've seen your sparring. You're nothing to me. I, I 
I've been in there with champions. Well, prove your point. Come to fight me. Don't be a pussy. Yeah? Get some stronger balls around your knackers. Yeah, it's interesting about the Mike Tyson thing, which is obviously in all the papers today. Um, do you think the Mike Tyson thing is kind of like a smokescreen not, not to fight you? 100 million percent. You know why? Because he's not allowed in the States, and Mike Tyson's not allowed over here. That fight is never going to happen, and he knows it. So he, he's, he's sort of contradicting himself there. Yes, John, you're contradicting yourself. It ain't going to happen. And if it did happen, John, forget that you're not allowed out of the country and he's not allowed in. Would you wear a pair of shorts of him? Would you show your body off of him? Contradiction. And that's all you are. A pussy, contradiction, no bollocks, sissy, whatever you, you know you are. That's all you are to me now. A pussy, no bollocks, mate. One of the uh, things that the people have accused you of is jumping on the back of John Fury's uh, name. Um, is he perhaps doing the same with challenging Mike Tyson? Well, it looks like, it, looks like it doesn't it, to, uh, in everyone's eyes, you know. I don't jump on anyone's back, you know. I don't even, I wouldn't want to jump on his back. Fuck it, the last one I'm jumping on, you know what I mean? The challenge was simply and purely because he said he's the strongest 54-year-old. I'm fi well, at the time. Um, I'm 56, and I know, I don't believe, I, I know I'm stronger and fitter, and I do believe I will knock him out. When, when you listened to that message, which was really forceful from him yesterday, um, do you think he possibly uh, embarrassed himself? I mean, it was so forthright, wasn't it? It was, it was very over the top. I think he realised now um, he's embarrassed himself. Whoever you made that video in front of, you know, he's trying to make himself look like, um, I don't know, a growler, someone not to be messed with. All you are, John, is a pussy, mate. Don't give a monkeys about you. You've got no arse and you've got no bollocks. You, you're scared to wear a pair of shorts in, 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 walking into arena. What's wrong with you? Wake up, my friend. You're a professional. I'm, I'm not even an amateur. You're the professional, yeah? You're the one that everyone wants to see you beat me, yeah? So... Get your nuts together. Get your strength together. Obviously, you can't do the training. I think you're affected by the training. You've gone past your cell by date, mate. You can't train anymore. You can't even get up to train. Yeah. Stop avoiding me and fight me, you pussy. Let, let's go back over this a little bit. I mean, originally the fight was offered, you know, pay-per-view behind closed doors, where, which you had arranged through your team, and, and he didn't want to do that. Then there was the sort of £250,000 challenge. Then Spencer was going to arrange it all on a big show. Now it's in his backyard for no money. I, I mean, I think everybody out there is getting very confused. Where are we now with this? Okay, you've got to look at my point first, number mm -hmm. one, yeah? I'm constantly want to fight John Fury. I haven't got off the rails, meaning I'm, I'm still on the track, yeah? He's kind of come off and gone on the rails two or three times, yeah? So look at look at the both boxers, yeah? The boxer that wants to fight him and the chicken that don't want to fight the boxer, yeah? Sorry, the bodybuilder, as they put it, yeah? Mm -hmm. So I, my, I've been on the rails from day one. My mission is to accomplish by beating John Fury and raise money for the NHS, yeah? Mm -hmm. His mission, he's come off the rails two, three times now, yeah? He's going in and out, in and out. I don't know, I do, I shall I, I won't, I, you know, he doesn't know what, he can't make his mind up. And he's constantly trying to get away from me, to fight me. Because he said it in the last shout-out, ragey shout-out, saying that he doesn't want to, he's not going to fight in the ring. He's not going to wear them shorts. He's 50-year-old, you know what I mean? Um, he's not going to go in the ring. What? Well, just look at me on the rails, him, him coming off the rails two or three times. I want to fight, he doesn't want to fight. I'm up for it, he's a pussy, he's not up for it. So there's, there's your, your, your calculations. Well, one of the other things that people say on the web, because I'm interested in, in, in what people say, you know, with regards to their viewpoint, is that uh, that you will shit yourself with that message, that you are going to be really frightened of him. Um, wh what would you say to those fans out there that say that? Well, the message was yesterday, today is another day. Now, do I sound like I'm, I'm, I'm shitting myself? All he is is a pussy, a fat pussy with tits hanging down his waist, probably, if he takes that top off, okay? To be honest with you, he looks like he's gone past his cell by day. He looks like he's 65, okay? Um, and he doesn't want to fight. 
I'm the only person out there that's offered him out. He's gone under his skin. He's trying to get out of it because he's a coward. John Fury, you are a coward. Now, you've got um, 20 seminars booked, yeah, with Spencer Brown, he told me, um, a week ago, to tell your life about big, bad John Fury's life. What happens when someone asks you a question? Why didn't you fight Mick Fear? What are you going to say then? Uh, uh, bop, 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 bop. Computer says no. What are you going to say? You've got to live with that. Yeah? Your name is tarnished. You will have to live with that. Big man. Mouthy man. Pussy man. No bollocks man. Stop playing with me, John. Get in that ring. Show, show the world who you are. Show the people that the fight fans want to see you. Yeah? I think one of the things also that uh, people are confused of and, and people are pointing out on the web is that um, he has a fight record which is you know, eight wins, four losses and a draw and not a high percentage knockout record. Where do you think this sort of reputation he has has come from and, and is it a real reputation? I think it's a Mickey Mouse reputation. I don't give a monkey what reputation he's got. I'm going to knock him out and that is it. Okay, I left it before to, to everyone see on a night, yeah? But now it's getting a bit, um, what's the word to use, you know? He's, he's pissing me off now. He's getting to me a little bit because he doesn't want to fight me, purely and simple. I don't care how he wants to conduct himself on his last shout-out. You know what? I hear, I've heard it day in, day out, over the doors, you know? People shouting, screaming, putting guns, putting this, putting that. I don't give a monkey's mate. So keep going with your raging, John, okay? You're just a pussy, mate. A pussy boy, that's got no bollocks. All, all, all we're asking for, John, simple. Come out and fight Mick Fio for a chat, for a good cause. Stop giving it all the fucking raging bollocks. It's all bollocks. Like Spencer said, a load of poop, a load of fucking poop bag. <laughs> that's what you are, mate, a bit of poop. A scared bit of poop. Another thing that he said uh, in his, uh, his video message was uh, that when he was sort of 14 or 15, he'd knock four or five doormen out a night. Would you think that that was something that might have happened or, or not? Excuse my French, he's full of shit. Another thing that people are saying on the web is that he's got a fearsome reputation, uh, having fights, uh, travelling fights. Um, <coughs> what, what, what do you think about that? Because we, we, we can't see the film of that, can we? We've never seen well, it. You answer the question. No one can see anything on it. On, on YouTube or anywhere, it's not there. Nothing. There's no history about him having anything. No history about him being a bare knuckle fighter. He just wants to uh, uh, um, probably make himself um, uh, call himself the, the bare knuckle fighter. Yeah. Uh, listen, everyone you speak to regarding his fight before he went crazy like he did yesterday, like acting like a kid jumping up and down. It's like a kid. That you take. You know, you take a kid off a toy. That's how he was yesterday. You're taking a kid. A, a, a toy away from the kid and that's how the kid the older kid acts yeah that's how, exactly how he acted there's a side thing to this uh, you did a, a very good uh, interview with Coogan Cassius um, uh, last week which I thought was you know very nice polite and a good interview with Coogan um, and, and it seems to have been taken down uh, yeah why, why, someone's, why just... someone's behind it because it was true what I said to, uh, to Coogan was completely true we had this fight fixed for the 28th of May um, secret location, pay-per-view, strictly pay-per-view, only the boxers, ref, and uh, judges uh, allowed in the venue. Um, they were up for it. You know, we were up for it. We were always waiting for the contracts to come back to so John O'Kady. Obviously, they never did. So four or five days later, he brings up no, my trainer and said, oh, John wants it in a big venue with all the bells and whistles. He wants his crowd there. So, you know what, I got a bit pissed off with Spencer because he didn't come back to me. But you know what, it is what it is. Um, I might say in a few little things like weasel and chicken, I took it back like a man, yeah, because that's what I am, yeah. Um, I might say things if I, if I, if, even if I'm, I'm right, I'll still say, you know, don't take it to heart. Just that I was a bit frustrated that, you know, I want to get this fight on. And obviously, look, look at the way they're acting now. Spencer don't even, I'll try to ring Spencer yesterday, nothing. Um, they want to ring me. Good luck to them. They, they, they don't want to fight. You know what? Ba, 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 ba. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what to say. You may just fucking get out of my life. You piece of shit. That's all you are. So the bottom line is, the bottom line is, you must be uh, very disappointed today because ultimately this fight 
was going to happen. We don't know now whether it is going to happen um, because you're not going to fight bare knuckle in, in a field. Uh, the Spencer's not now speaking to you. I mean, what, what does this all mean? Listen, it means that John Fury does not want to fight, yeah. He's got no bollocks, okay. He's got no heart. He's probably found out a bit more information about me, what I can do, and I will do, and I will knock him out. That is basically it, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's found out this geezer's no fucking pushover, yeah. And that's me, mate. I ain't no pushover, yeah. He's talking about he's dying in the ring, but that's how I feel, yeah. And I don't do second place, John, yeah. So you're going down, mate, if you're fighting me, yeah? I will knock the fuck out of you. That's me. Have you got a, a direct message to John Fury now? <laughs> My direct message is you're a pussy. You're scared to fight. You're trying to come out with so many different reasons, like yesterday, hence, yeah? Showing yourself to be a, a, a little boy, acting the way you're acting, as if, a little, if someone's taking your little toy away, yeah? You, you made it clear you don't want to fight in the ring because you're a 50 year old man. You don't want to show your whatever body you got underneath it. You know, I don't have a problem with my body. My body's been used to training every day. It's still got me abs there, six pack, maybe eight pack if you want to know. Yeah, you're going to be embarrassed because I'm going to look better than you, you pussy, mate. Got no bollocks, got no fucking heart, got nothing in you. Alternatively, I'll take it all back, John. Nothing like your rage, what I've said to you, mate. Take it all back, we move forward, we have a fight. You prove your fans who you are, and I've proved to mine who I am. Done. Yeah, we're fighting for NHS, good cause. I think, it, you see, after all of this uh, huge uh, interest, I think people would be quite upset if this fight doesn't happen because just for the the novelty value the interest that it is uh is gone out there i think everybody wants to see it and i think they would be disappointed if it was just in someone's backyard and nobody, nobody ever saw it i mean it'd be very exciting but you know i think people do want to see the fight and and um wouldn't it be great if it happened listen there's a massive massive interest in this fight you know it's gone viral it's gone everywhere in in a, in a week i think if, I, if i'm not wrong um it's quite surprised me how, how viral it's gone um, over the world, over the internet, over the social media, you know. And I, I'm sure John knows that as well. But obviously, there's, there's an issue here. John Fury does not want to fight Mick Theo. Mick Theo has never had a fight in his life. John Fury is an ex-professional boxer, yeah? Like he said in his first video, yeah, aggressively, you're nothing to me. Make yourself aware. Get a Spencer, which I did. I've done all the right things up to now. And... You guys, you and your manager are pooping yourself. Not your manager. Your manager's all right. He's just trying to act for you. But you are pooping yourself, meaning shitting yourself, because you're up against the fight. And you know what? Walk away from this fight, John. Hide yourself. You've got to live with that for the rest of your life. I don't have a problem with that. And you know what? If that's what you want to do, mate, you're still a pussy in my eyes, yeah? But you've got big respect for me as a man. I don't take things personal. You have a comeback in, 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 and a move forward with this fight. Not just for me and you, John, but listen, the, the amount of people out there that wants to see this happen, you know, the dynasty happens. Don't just, we've created something now and you, you John Fury, are walking away from fighting Mickey Fio because you ain't got the balls, mate. You're a puff. I would call him a puff all, all, all day long if I could, but I can't be arsed with his arsehole. That's it, you're an arsehole as well. An arsehole and a puff and got no balls, mate. I've got no hearts. Come forward. Yeah, because I will knock you out. I don't need prediction. That's what I'm going to do to you. He's a puff. He's a puff. That's what he is. He's a puff from the hardest, gutless piece of shit. That's what he is. That's not dramatically putting the geezer down. It's just telling him how I think about it. So tell us, you still got the support of your sponsors for this fight and they're all they're all for it, yeah? You know what? I've got some amazing sponsors come forward. Um, just read a few of them out yeah. One of them's called I Fancy That. It's an online casino firm. It's uh, it's up and rising. It's, it's got all... You can put any bet you want through... Uh, they go through William Hill, Fred Bet, all the top brands. I Fancy That is the name. Um, great name. Great casino company. Great um, internet as well. Um, official watches. Um, Dino, a friend of mine. Um, get any watch you want in the world. The top people, top watches, top specs. Anything you want. Official watches are the ones to go for. Um, next one along is Ability Group. They're a group of hotels. 
Um, they've got the Hilton, Liverpool, and they've got quite a few more Hiltons around the world. Top hotels, great rates, place to be. Been to many of them myself. Uh, special thank you to Raymond Davis and obviously Taste of Cyprus um, supplying all my foods for the fight. Thank you very much, you sponsors, and uh, thank you uh, towards thanks, big thanks to every everyone that's uh, there for me and supported me. Uh, my fans and people that I don't know that's come on board, and obviously the people I know. Thank you very much for all your support, and let's hope this pussy gets out of his bed and gets in the ring with me.